All right, you heard those kids. Speak up, speak out, be loud. And that's what we're all here to do this morning. We're honored to have this group of Be Loud advocates tell you why they are loud in the fight against sexual violence. You're going to see some familiar faces, some familiar names among those joining us this morning. And know that each person here is advocating for change each and every day in their own way, and that's why they're here this morning. I'm loud because I know my value and because it's important and necessary to protest against injustice. I am loud for my late first wife and for my mother so that others will not suffer as they did. I am loud because the cycle of sexual violence is in every generation of my family. I am loud for my friend who is learning that resilience doesn't mean doing it alone. And I am loud because I have found my voice in the power of youth. I am loud for all of you so you never feel alone. I am loud in seeking justice for what is right. I am loud for the children who don't know a life without abuse and whose voices are too small to be loud. We are loud for children who suffer silently and for the family, friends, counselors, teachers, lawyers, law enforcement officers, and others who dare to intervene. I am the voice of Seattle Police Chief Best this morning, who will be joining us shortly. I am loud because I believe in safe communities where no one is a victim of sexual assault. I am loud because we have the power to take weapons away from abusers, and we will use that power without hesitation. I am loud because silence only reinforces the cycle of abuse. I am loud because women and families in King County deserve to feel safe and valued in our community. I am loud for all the vulnerable populations in our community. Our office will be loud in seeking justice for all victims. I am loud because apparently we haven't been loud enough for the past decades. And I am loud because it is past time for a generation of girls and boys to not have to deal with this. Enough is enough. I know you, like me, are deeply moved after every breakfast uh, by the number of people who stand up. If they know someone who has been affected by sexual assault, it is just a powerful, powerful demonstration of caring of solidarity and of support. Again this year, this morning, we want to give you the opportunity to be heard and really provide a, a visual touch point for the pervasive impact of sexual violence in our community. So if you know someone who has been impacted or affected by sexual assault, will you please join me in standing to honor them? Wow, look around this room. Take a moment and look around this room. What a powerful, powerful demonstration. I wish you could see it from my vantage point because it is just amazing. Not everyone has to stand, uh, but many of us are.
So thank you. You can be seated. And thank you to our advocates this morning.